But just a short time ago, U.S. President Barack Obama spoke at the White House on the crisis in Ukraine and downing of the Malaysian jet. This was a global tragedy. An Asian airliner was destroyed in European skies, filled with citizens from many countries. So there has to be a credible international investigation into what happened. The U.N. Security Council has endorsed this investigation, and we will hold all its members, including Russia, to their word in order to facilitate that investigation. Russia, pro-Russian separatists, and Ukraine must adhere to an immediate ceasefire. Evidence must not be tampered with. Investigators need to access the crash site and the solemn task of returning those who were lost on board the plane to their loved ones needs to go forward immediately. Now, here are some more details on flight MH17. Malaysia's transport minister says a special disaster and assistance team of more than 60 people is being dispatched to Kiev. The United Nations Security Council is holding an emergency meeting Friday to discuss the tragedy. International air carriers have responded to the disaster on Friday by rerouting their flights around the conflict zone. The Malaysian airliner is thought to have included more than 108 activists, researchers and health workers, mostly Dutch nationals bound for Melbourne, Australia, to attend an international AIDS conference. Now, the International AIDS Society host of the AIDS conference scheduled to begin Sunday released a statement expressing sincere sadness and condolences to the families of the victims. An incomplete list of victims includes 173 Dutch, 44 Malaysians, 27 Australians, 12 Indonesians, and several each from Britain, Germany, Belgium, and the Philippines, along with one each from the United States, Canada, Hong Kong, and New Zealand.